Hi, right, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, my name is Omar J. So Alfred, and this is Catalan Bano with the boss of all bosses. And of course, we have Apostle right there with us on set. Apostle has everything, sir. Thank you, Omar J. So God bless you. All right, before we proceed, I would like to say Happy New Month because this is actually the first time we're seeing this month. So I want to say Happy New Month. Welcome to the month of August, yes, whatever country you're watching me from, whatever city, whatever territory, okay, whatever community, whatever compound, okay, there's something they call compound, there are some areas they call yard, that's the difference between a compound and a yard, but whatever place you're watching me from, I want to say happy new month and welcome to the month of August. Uh, today, uh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so happy because the topic we're treating today, I think one of the major topics that I've got a lot of christian thinking and also got a lot of people talking and i know our force is fully fully ready for it um the old, the old, the old concept of christian going to club the old concept of christian clubbing all right the bible talks about sin and it also talks about love all right but first of all before we proceed our post to uh, let's understand the concept of sin first all right before we go to the aspect of our major topic today to say is it a crime for is it a sin for a christian to go clubbing but first of all what is sin thank you according to the bible in first john chapter 3 verse 4 it says for sin is the transgression of the law all right all right that is the definition for sin yeah so so where there is no law there is actually no sin. there is no sin that's correct Okay, so, so so where do we have the concept that says that is a sin for a Christian to go clubbing? Thank you, Amojesu. I, I, I so much like the question you just asked. You know, when people want to deviate from the truth, hmm. they start looking for an excuse in the dark, okay. which is not found anywhere. Now, I will also ask the same question and said, where is it written in the Bible that a Christian should go clubbing? Uh, but, 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 but no, I'm not, I, yes, I'm coming. Yes, I'm not asking you. I'm also asking the viewers. Okay. Viewers. Because, <laughs> see, when we go to school, I'm yeah. talking about maybe primary, secondary school, we know that the routine is as you go, you go to devotion. Okay. From devotion, we do uh, and the, from there to your classes. Yeah. Now, that is a routine. Mm. But most of us, um, because we come late, we don't attend devotion, we go to somewhere else. Okay. Now, when you come, the teacher on the week, Mm. Or the principal has to flog you for not being the devotion. Mm. So you now ask, why did you go to somewhere else because you were late? Mm. That's why you didn't come to devotion. All right. Or because you are afraid. All right, I know fear is of the devil. Mm. So when he said, if Christian is this right, or is he a sin for Christian to go clubbing? Mm. You now ask, what do they do in club? Okay. Is it the glory of God? Man was created for the sole purpose to praise and worship and serve his creator, okay. to serve God. Mm. So anything outside that domain is a sin. No, I said, you are made for this purpose. Mm. And if you go and look into what you say, clubbing, clubbing is partying at night or coming together a group of persons at night. And the Bible said, in Isaiah chapter 5, verse 11, he said, Woe to them who rise up in the morning and go after wine, and those who stay late at night on strong drink. Okay. So, which law are we looking at? Why do you stay late at night? Those are the clubbers. Mm. And he said, Woe to them. Mm. So, what is not ethic is not ethic. Okay. What is not moral is not moral. Okay. You, know, you know, the Bible said, Bring up a child in the way he or she should go, and when he's old, they will not depart from it. Mm -hmm. You know, as the believers going to club, was their father and their grandfather taking them to clubs that they now learned it as an habit? Okay. You understand what the scripture? All right. Bring up a child in the way he or she should go. Mm -hmm. Where their father or their mother or their grandparents, were they taking them to club? Okay. So why not all of them if they took them to Christ? So clubbing 
It's, there are things the Bible said, let this not be mentioned in your mouth. When he was bringing the children of Israel out of Egypt, he told them, he said, don't ask after the way they worship their gods. Mm. Let even their names not be mentioned in your mouth. There are things we don't need to mention. Okay. With our mother as children of God. When you say clubbing, what do you do? They dance po to popular music. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. They, you dance to popular music, you smoke, you drink. Mm -hmm. You smoke, you drink. Now, all these things are things that lead you to temptation. Okay. Which now begets sin against your maker. Okay. And Bible say, abstain from every appearance of evil. Okay. So, club will make you drink, smoke, mm. then from smoke, drinking, fantasy coming, urge for fornication, for all that's come sin. Mm. And when you smoke, what do you also do? You kill yourself gradually. Mm. You, see, you know, the, after the advert of cigarette, they mm. say smoke has, are liable to die, young. to die young. And I ask yourself, why do you subject yourself to dying young? <laughs> Which is also a sin, that gradual death, suicide. Okay. And I said, I shall not kill. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. No, you said something. Okay. Mm. Which I was trying to come in earlier on. Okay. Now, the question is, is it sin for a Christian to go to club? All right. And of course, before we started this, um, your explanation concerning um consigning sin according to the bible says sin is actually the transgression of, of the, the law. law so where there is no law of course there is no sin, sin. all right yes. uh, and that's why this topic is very very technical and okay? broad they are very very technical now and i said and you said where is in the bible where, where in the bible um is it written that um that's um, christian should go to club or christian should not go to club now from Genesis to Revelation, I don't think if the Bible mentioned anything like clubbing or mentioned anything like cigar or stuff like or smoking and the rest, okay? But these are things that Christian uh, people do, uh, including Christians and non-Christians, okay? Um, and the technical part of it is it is not being mentioned in the Bible. Now you said um, you said something. You said okay, um, it leads you to commit sin, meaning the act itself. Is not a sinful act, but it leads you to commit sin. I don't know if I'm right concerning that, but if I'm not, I would, at this point, I would like to get um, to, to correct me. Now, you said um, when you go to club, okay, now it leads you from clubbing to start smoking to start drinking, okay, which will now lead you to sin. Now, uh, based on your explanation, are you trying to say that the art of clubbing itself or the art of drinking and smoking? In safe. Okay, when you talk about drink, a lot of Christians will say the Bible says take little, take strong drink, little for the stomach's sake. Okay, now I think we'll get to that point much later, but I don't think that will be for today. Yeah. But now, if if this thing the Bible says little, okay, for the stomach's sake, and um, so far, and you said when you go clubbing, it leads you to start uh, smoking or drinking, which leads you to commit sin. Now, is the art a sinful act itself? If it doesn't lead us to sin, meaning it's not a sin. But the fact that it will lead us mm -hmm. to sin, that's where the problem is. So I don't know if you can... Yes, someone that. just to thank you. Mm -hmm. Whichever way one tries to paint white, is white. All right. And whichever way one tries to paint black, is black. Okay. Now remember that Christ told us mm -hmm. that they said in the Old Testament that thou should not commit adultery. Yeah. Now that is a sin. Okay. Also. Yeah. But he now told us, he said, but even looking at a woman lustfully, okay. that you've already committed the act okay. of adultery. All right. So you are trying to explain the sin and the acts that leads to sin. That leads to sin. So I'm also trying to explain by the scripture what Christ said that even looking at the woman lustfully, okay. you've quite so it is not it is, it is not until when you sleep with the woman, mm. but looking at her lustfully in your heart, mm. which means acts and offense are the same. Because you've not committed, so you're just looking at the woman. So <laughs> you're going to club. And let me tell you when they said, where in the Bible? Because the God has given us 614 laws. Mm. In the Bible, we so enormous and so large and so broad mm. that we are not even able to keep. And he summarizes it to make it simplified to us. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your might. And love your neighbor as you love yourself in club. Are you going to love God okay. in club? Now, remember that in Exodus chapter 20, verse 8 to 11, it says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Okay. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Mm. 
And in seven days, the Sabbath of the Lord thy God, in it, thou shalt not do anything. Mm -hmm. You just come to worship. Mm -hmm. So it is six days it's for you to labor. And they laboring in club. They will go to club to labor. Because the other day for us to rest and dance is supposed to be in the presence of God. Okay. Remember when Moses came down with, with, the, with the Ark of Covenant, with the Ten Commandments. He, he met them jubilating and dancing after mm. another gods. Mm. And he got angry and threw the commandments. Okay. Now, I'm trying to tell you that from the scripture, whatever they gather and dance is not to the name of God. It, it was a sin. Some mysterious happened. And Moses broke the, cover, the commandments. We okay. saw them dancing, jubilating. And I thought, so your jubilation, your dancing must be to God, your creator. He said, for this is the old duty of a man. Okay. So for a believer, we are not even done praising God. We are not even done worshiping God. So why you go to where you become tipsy and that leads you to sin? Okay. All right. So we must not wait until he said, clubbing, is it in the Bible? He has told you, six days shall that labor. Okay. In the six days, he didn't mention club. Mm. He mentioned practically labor. Mm. Practically was mentioned six days. Mm. And the seventh day, so you going to club in any of these days, you are breaking the commandment of God. Okay. Okay. So if I may ask, if I may ask, what then? Now, if I don't go to club, all right, but I decide to drink and smoke in my house, is it a sin? Because I, I'm, I'm focusing on the fact that these <laughs> things are not being written in the Bible. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now that's what I'm saying. He said everything is expedient, hmm. but not all are important. Okay. Everything is important, but not all are mandatory. Okay. Everything is mandatory, but not all is satisfactory. All right. You know, the Bible said, there's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is death. Okay. Taking cigar and drinking your home might seem right to the man. Hmm. But the Bible said, the end thereof is, is death. Okay. Like I earlier said, they would pull the production or the manufacturers of the cigarette hmm. will also advise underneath. Smokers are liable to die young. Okay. So which means they didn't warn you. Okay. You are warned. Hmm. So that will ask a question. Why do you subject yourself to dying young? Hmm. Because it's a gradual hmm. death, hmm. which means you are the one that killed yourself. Okay. Suicidal, co by committing suicide. But it's a gradual process that of suicide. I know in smoking, we have more of the percentage of lung cancer. Yeah. So medically. Yeah. That's so, suppose, oh, smoking was not written in the Bible. Smoking was not written. But where was it written yeah. that you should smoke? But, 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 but see, guys, not being written. Since it's not in the Bible. No, so, that's what I'm saying. So to us, I yes. Is... yes, that's what I'm saying. It is, if you say it's not written in the Bible, that I don't smoke. But where was it written that you should smoke? Okay. You understand? So let's get something right. It was not written that you should not smoke, but where was it written? Thank where you did you smoke. learn it from? Who mm -hmm. is your author or your mentor? Mm. And what does it give? Because mm. gradually it destroys your heart. Okay. It destroys the lungs. Mm. Cancer comes and all the rest. Mm. That's right. But there are so many things mm. you can do for God. Because now, for instance, a brother who smokes in his house, or your sisters does it, they even smoke more than the brothers these days. Mm -hmm. The sisters smoke more than the brothers. Okay. Now, are you in your house you are smoking? You get addicted to it. Mm -hmm. So when you are in the presence of God, that addiction will also want to force you to go out to smoke a little when the service is going on. Okay. That's what it does. Okay. So, now why would you want to leave the presence of your maker to go out and smoke. Because you see, some in church, you see, service is going on. You see, somebody goes, I say, wants to go and read. The church toilet is there. They will not go inside there. Mm. They'll go outside. Why? They just want to take a top up. Yeah. Understand? So, now, it is addiction. So, when it gets to that stage, why leave the presence of God? Mm. Then, medically, why destroy yourself? Okay. And as I said, there's a way that cement right unto a man. But the end, they are rough, mm. is dead. Okay. Then, if it's good, and why not do it in the public? Mm. And people now see whether they will commend you or they will damn you. Mm. That's what I say. What is evil is evil. Mm. That's not, it's just like you in the military. Yes, you might see, so you say, you might see a policeman smoking on the road. Mm. But you only see an army man smoking on the road. Okay. Because it's against the ethics. Mm. It's against the ethics. You won't see an army man or a naval man personnel smoking on the road. 
You understand? So, which shows that it's also morals and ethics. Mm. It does not show a good moral behavior. It does not show a good family background. Okay. And all what Christian is, is to showcase Christ. Mm. You ask yourself as a believer, who are you following? You are the follower of Christ. Was Christ clubbing? Mm. Was Christ smoking? Mm. Was Christ drinking? Yeah. I think that is the fundamental question a believer should yeah, ask so himself. Okay. Okay. Is my, my mentor, the author and finisher of my faith, mm. is he doing this thing? Yeah. Was he doing this? And I'm supposed to be the light of the world mm. to showcase him. So why should I do it if he's not doing if he didn't do it? All right, ladies and gentlemen, of course, in case you're just staying glued to your TV, so don't forget this is Catalambano with the boss of all boss. And of course, we have Apostle right here with us on set. And the topic is, is it a crime for a Christian to go clubbing? And of course, Apostle has said a lot, a lot. Of course, one of the key thing i picked from him he said why going to club because club is definitely the lead you to drinking lead you to smoking and of course to that art okay it also leads you to fornication and the rest so you should stay away from them now we're talking about smoking i say when you smoke sometimes you get addicted to it and when you get addicted to it this thing keep controlling you and gradually it keep killing you like um the tobacco companies will always say that smokers are liable to die young so why are you killing yourself gradually uh, time is not our uh, time is actually our greatest greatest friend okay and the way we manage the time means so much to us okay is that uh, we buy back the time or is that at the time work against us so um at that point um, um you, you you get disadvantaged with working with your time so uh because of that um apostle we would like you to give us a little bit summary and also um um tell us how we can worship alongside with you while we look forward to what you're going to be developing on us next week thank you Amo Jesu. is it good is it a sin for a believer to go clubbing hmm. smoking drinking the answer is capital N O no. Oh, right. Because clubbing is not of God. Oh. As children of light, we must depict the character of the Messiah. There is what we call in my first degree yeah. in my field, the law of uniformitarianism, yeah. which says that the present is the key to the past. So you check what is the livelihood of Christ. Because yeah. if there is no you, you, uniformity, there will be no conformity of what you want to conform to. Yeah. So when you look at the livelihood of Christ, you see what Christ stands for, then you'll be able to conform when you uniform with him mm. in that line of action. Then we cannot say, oh, I'm for science and wonders. Yeah. I'm the light of the world. Yeah. That's as, otherwise, this is, that's why sometimes some believers, you pray, 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 but no, there's an idol worship. So, clubbing, yes. The, the dancing and the whatever in the club is not of God. So it's an idol worship. Yeah. It's idolatry. Yeah. If we have time, we'll buttress that it's more on that. that. Yeah. But sincerely speaking, uh, it's a broad topic. But if you're as a believer, you have nothing to do with club. Six days shall you labor and do all your work and the seventh day in the presence of God. Yeah. So if you have a time you go for clubbing, that means you're also breaking the law of God. Six yeah. days shall you labor. Labor. Yeah. Labor. They don't want to labor. They want to enjoy. Our enjoyment is in Christ. Ooh. It's in the house of God. Ooh. We are a church from God Ministries. Look at that number seven ministry in that street. A limbo port uh, These are services are Tuesdays, 8 a.m. to 12 noon is our fasting time. And from 12 noon to 4 p.m. is our counseling period. And every Friday is an evening with the Lord, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. An exception for every second and last Friday of every month is tag a night with God. The Saturday night, a night of signs and wonders, aliens and miracles. A night you come, you don't go back the same. An extraordinary night. Come expectant and you won't go back the same way. And our Sunday services are Sunday's first service, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Second service, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Come expectant and you won't go back the same. The Lord bless you. <laughs>